Welcome to the Berry Girls Kitchen. I'm Linda. And I'm Kylie. Well, today we're here making it count by making sweet potato spinach and chicken casserole. Oh my goodness, one of my favorites. Sweet potatoes have multiple great benefits, such as being rich in beta carotene. And beta carotene converts to vitamin A. Now vitamin A helps support your wonderful eyes, you only get one set here, and then a strong immune system. That's right, as well as they're high in fiber and antioxidants. And antioxidants protect the body from free radical damage and it promotes a healthy gut and a healthy brain. Another beneficial ingredient in this dish is spinach. It's rich in iron, magnesium, calcium, folate, and gives you those muscles. Chicken also contains vitamin B12, and that may help promote brain development in children, and it helps the nervous system to function properly. Mm -hmm. Now, we're using ramekins to help assist us with portion control, which is crucial if you're trying to maintain a healthy weight. This meal is also beneficial because it's a wonderful way to allow time for yourself and family because it's awesome to meal prep. Less time in the kitchen, more time for yourself and your family. So let's get started, mom. We're going to preheat our oven to 425. In a large pot of salted water, you will cook your pasta according to the package instructions and set aside. Hmm. Now, chickpea pasta is a healthy alternative to white pasta because it provides more fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Yes. Let's make our sweet potato puree. We are using two small to medium sized sweet potatoes. We are going to peel and cut them about one to two inch cubes. Now we want to keep these sized uniform, so make sure they cook evenly. That's a big deal. All right, now we're ready to boil our sweet potatoes and we'll boil them for about 10 to 15 minutes until they're fork tender. We'll need to drain the water and then transfer the sweet potatoes to our food processor and process them until they're in parade form. Season your chicken breast with your Italian herbs and an oil of your choosing. We're going to place that in our oven and cook for about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on your chicken breast size. After that, we're going to dice that on up and pop it into our mincer. We're going to mince that and set it aside. In a skillet over medium heat, add three tablespoons of your olive oil or oil of your choosing. Add your spinach and we're going to cook till it starts to wilt. Watch very carefully because it wilts quickly. You don't want to burn your spinach. Once that's done, add your potato puree, shallots, spices, your cooked pasta, remove from the heat, add your matzo and your chicken and mix well. Place the mixture in oven safe ramekins and bake for about 30 minutes until set. We'll remove from heat and then it's ready to serve, but you may want to add a veggie side, mm -hmm. asparagus, broccoli, or even Brussels sprouts. There you have it, healthy, fresh, and fast family meals for you to enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like and follow us, the Berry Girls, for more healthy, flavorful, and delicious recipes. And when you try these at home, leave us a comment and let us know how you make, make it count. count. The Berry Girls are brought to you by Hen House. Berry Girls out.